Hey gals and guys, this is Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com and this time we are going to take a look at GetResponse and sign up for it and take a look at the features. We're going to set up a mailing list and we will um, set up some forms for opt-in forms. So if you could just, um, and I'm going to leave the link down below on this particular video uh, for GetResponse. If you could just click on that link, I would appreciate it. The reason be it is an affiliate link. It does help the channel. And if you click on that link, you're going to see something like this. And if you read here, you can start for free, no risk, 30 day trial. You do not need any type of payment, any type of credit card. This is your 30 day trial, no obligation. I know this sounds like a sales pitch. I use GetResponse and I'm gonna absolutely show you that I do. Um, if there's anything that you should purchase a monthly subscription for, it's this. You're gonna watch a lot of marketing videos where they're gonna push a lot of programs and stuff on you. This is the only one I'm gonna recommend to you that you actually pay a monthly fee for. And of course your hosting services and your domain and stuff like that. Um, so if you just, uh, Put in your information here and create an account. Yeah, I'll just do, um, I'll do info at fanfilmfollies.com just to show you. Uh, first name Christopher. And of course, a password. All right, then just create account. And we got these lovely, uh, okay, almost there, Christopher. You can save that if you want in your browser uh, history. If you want to activate your account, click the email, okay. So we're gonna go over here, gonna verify our email address. I don't need that. Okay, and activate my account. And you should see up here, oh, okay, you put in your information, Let's see. So you can just fill in this information. Um, I'm not sure if they need everything. Um, this is not my actual ad address. So if you're trying to hunt me down, <laughs> um, this is a totally bogus address. <laughs> None of these towns, these streets, or the zip codes match, so. Um, try to call me at that number, then uh, good luck. A phone number you entered is incorrect. Okay, we'll just put, um, oops, 585. Ah, dang it, come on now, yeah. Okay, try to call me that at that number. Uh, good luck. Good luck if you can can get hold of me. All right, so it's going to do a, and this is where I'm going to stop. Uh, and so it's going to send you a code to your number to opt in, and just to it's kind of like a double uh, verification for you. So go ahead and do that. I'm going to close that out then. All right. All right, so I'll we'll move back over to my get response or the get response main website. Uh, I'm going to log in. And log in. And up on top of here, you're going to see uh, like a the red banner that says 30 day trial. Uh, so this is your beautiful new uh, get response dashboard. Let's go to lists to start with. We're going to create our first list. All right, as you can see, uh, already has some lists. So it has some opt-ins. You can look at the dates. Now, I really never advertise these sites. I just put them up and I put uh, forms in them. I never put them on any type of Facebook ads or Google ads or anything like that. They're just kind of sitting out there in limbo. And someday I will do something with them. Yeah, got eight opt-in. I just started this a couple weeks ago. So I've got eight opt-ins. That's that's cool. I haven't really uh, built that site up at all. Uh, so let's create a new list, all right? 
So for mine, I'm going to do crown kayak. All right. And then obviously put in whatever you can put in whatever you want. It's just to track uh, your list. So uh, you're going to create. All right. It is that easy. All right. So we're going to do an opt-in form. We're going to do an opt-in form first, and we're also going to do, let's do the opt-in form first, okay? Forms and surveys. All right, and this is what I have um, already, and I can just show you, for example, let's see here. Uh, capability statement, oh, okay, all right. So this is what people visits the most, um, is my usual opt-in. So I'll show you that real quick. And then we'll, we'll, we'll build one from scratch, okay? Do, 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 do. Look at that. Just in time for Halloween. Scary monster. I'm going to unlock this. All right. <clears throat> so this is my opt-in form. Excuse me. You a little frog in my throat there. And there's my thank you page. All right. So let's get out of this and loading, loading, loading. And let's go back to forms and we're going to create a new form. And once it's loading, all right. And, um, I mean, you can choose whatever template you, template you want. Um, we're just going to manipulate the, the template, basically. And here's news. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these real quick. Newsletter sign up, because that's basically what we're doing to start with. And this is actually the one that I created for... Here, let me show you. Doo, doo, doo. Progress is slow, my friends. I'm just going to go to one of my um, postings. I'll just give you a sh show you. Okay, so there's my uh, there's my form, my opt-in form. So all that is is let me get rid of this. All that is is this. I just changed it around. Oop. So you can do the same thing. So we'll just grab. Uh, We'll grab this as a template, use this as a template, or you can use blank. You can do blank if you want. Um, yeah, let's do a blank one. Uh, what do I want to do? Subscribe for free's newsletter. Yeah, let's do this one. Scaly monster. Do, do, do. Okay. So you can just uh, just click on that and see the blinking cursor right there, and you can make changes. Move these around, just grab onto them. You can change your button, what you want to put in your button. Come on now, today. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave it that way, obviously. Okay. So you can add fields. Um, these are all self-explanatory. Uh, I would recommend just for an opt-in form at this point, just grab their, their email address and their name. Um, and they're only gonna put, probably put your, their first name in there and they might not even put their real name in there. Um, you really just want their email address. That's all you care about. But um, yeah, it's it's nice to, to have a, put a name to an email address, right? And so all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, uh, state, Oop, where we go? Come on now, why are you being so difficult for me? Oh, I see, okay. All right, so you can put a country in there and just uh, you ha highlight it, hit your delete button if you wanna get rid of it. Or, oh, there's actually, there's a garbage up here. My bad. All right. So gender just over there. 
do you really need this? No. And then just, I don't know, just get rid of it. Just uh, keep email address and name. So if it happens to be blank, you know, just bring this over and there's name. You can just grab onto it and put it wherever you want. Okay, pretty simple. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I want to put, uh, and then there's layout. You can change uh, the spacing. You can uh, obviously the width, embed, pop over, scroll form. Right now we're just going to do embed. And then here's the style. So let's go back to add field. Okay, I'm going to go down. I want to add an image. All right. And da, 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 da. All right, bring that over. I want to replace image. Okay, and then it will bring you to your images. And I mean, here's ones that you can take from GetResponse that comes with your membership. Shutterstock gallery. Okay, so these charge you, but I'm just going to go to my files. And I'm going to add a file. And then I'm going to grab this. Okay, and then you can you can create a folder. I'm just going to put it in my main folder. Okay, there it is. I'm going to use it. All right. And then I'm going to just drag it over here. All right. Just so people can kind of see it. All right, I'm going to go back to... Oh. So if you have that highlighted can't go to layout, just off click it and then go to layout. And so I'm going to put this uh, not as ridiculous. Uh, let's see, 450, uh, 400. Um, I guess. And then I want to. Uh, okay, I see you can only. All right, so I'm just going to put that at zero. And then I'm going to do a little manipulation here. So I'm going to put this button down here. So left click and just drag. Oh, maybe you can't do it with this one. Okay. So just grab on, grab on with left click. Sometimes with some programs, you can just uh, grab the whole thing and move the whole thing. Yeah, we'll just drag this down here. Actually, I'm going to get this out of the way for now. So I can actually uh, make that larger if I want. So let me show you this uh, right here, these buttons right here. So you can bring this forward. Uh, let's see here. You should be able to bring this forward. Or you can bring this backwards. There we go. So you can uh, layer it differently. And so that's over that. You can bring this down a little bit, maybe shrink a little bit. Oops. All right, yeah, just play around with it. I want to put this at the top, I guess. I just don't like a lot of white space. Uh, that's just me. So come on now. All right, so that's just me. I'll probably move that again. All right, so I'm just going to click in here. I definitely did not want that. So you see how that happened? Uh, it just arbitrarily changed my font for whatever reason. Just go up here where these arrows are, and you can go back to um, or you can move forward if you make a mistake or want to go back and fix something. All right. All right, so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to put in, um, I don't know, let's put in, please subscribe today, or um, subscribe today, um, something like that. 
grab onto it. Oop. Yeah, then you can expand it out if you want. I'm just going to leave it like that for now, just for the sake of um, this lesson. All right. Now I'm going to move this up a little bit. All right. So it's not going to see this top thing here. That's going to be cut off. Uh, it's just going to see what's around that blue. Um, so I might want to put a border around it. Let's go to style. And we can change the background. If you have an image, you can put it in there. Um, just for kicks. I'm just going to put a dog in there. <laughs> Why not? So you can put a doggy in there. That's cool. I like the doggy. I like doggies. And um, for this particular, I'm just going to do solid color. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to do a very lightish blue, uh, not purple. So um, I want more bluish, actually. It looks more purple. Uh, hmm. You just have to play around with the colors here. And if you want to get really, really into it, see, look, look at this. Go to um, Google and put in hex color as your search. Okay, this is going to give you your hex color. Uh, you can do this and just grab the hex color. Or, no, let's just do blue. And just grab that. And control C, go over here, highlight this, control, C, control V, sorry. And there's blue. That's kind of more what I was looking for. I just don't want it. I'm going to put the opacity very low, very, very low. Yeah, I'll put okay. That's fine for now. Uh, again, this is just an example. That's perfect. Yeah, I'll put do a border. Let's do a border. Let's do a border. And let's just do black. Okay. And border size. Oh, that's for that. I want to do a border here. Make sure this is clicked. So do border. Black again. That's fine. All right, this is not exactly what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just doing this, for example. What I would do is actually... Do this image is a clear image, so there's not all that white in there. Um, I can show you how to do that here. As long as I'm thinking about it and we're here and we're doing it, let's do it. So guys, just uh, bring back up your uh, Google search. And what I want you to put in here is going to be Photopea. Search here. And I'll put this link down in the description as always. Let's go here. It's basically an online Photoshop. And I'll just let it load. Yep, it's gonna get rid of that thing. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to file. I can teach you how to do this. I might do a tutorial on this too, on Photoshop or this. That's both the same thing. I mean, this is free. Photoshop is great. Actually, if you got the money to get it, but um, this is fine for what for what we need to do with it. In this particular in this particular juncture. All right, and I'm just going to go to my stuff and stop. Just make sure I get into my media. There's that. So I want to do a, um, you know, can I just do that? <clears throat> so, do, 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 geez. Anyone remember uh, AOL dial up? <laughs> it used to be so damn slow. And I feel like sometimes I, I, I know we're all spoiled now that we have uh, fiber optics in. Uh, <laughs> um, 
fast internet speeds, but geez, it feels some, like some, sometimes I'm at a crawl. Um, so I want to do ping, and I want to find my um, find my magic wand. So I go right here, get the magic wand. And all right, so I'm highlighting all this stuff. I'm just going to hit that delete. So you've got clear and just highlight this because there's a little white in there. Delete. Click on that. Delete. 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 Um, I don't want this. It's too small. No one's going to see it. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to delete it. All right. So there we've got our clear image. There's no more white that I need to deal with. I'm going to go and export it as a ping, PNG. I call it ping. I don't know. I got weird names for things. And as soon as it wants to save, all right, so I'm going to save. And I'm going to open up my folder. I just want to rename it. And we'll go to downloads. Uh, I'm going to put Crown Kayak clear. I'm just going to right click, I'm going to rename dash clear so I know what it is. All right, we'll go back over to get response. And I'm going to click on this. I'm going to replace image. I am going to go to add file. I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to go to my downloads. And I'm going to go to my clear image and I'm going to add and I'm going to use and there we go. So and I'll just put this up here. And I don't got to worry about the background. It's always going to meld in with it. I'm not really particularly happy with that background, <laughs> the color of that background, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'll play around with it later. Uh, um, so you can change. Um, oh. I don't want to do that. Ah. <laughs> Come on now. Style. Fonts. I just want to grab onto this font. Oh, my Lord. Drives me nuts. Let's change the font color. There we go. It's not really what I want either, but that's okay. Or you can redo the font here. That's not really what I want either. Yeah, just play around with it, guys. You know what I mean? Pause, pause the video and uh, just play around with it. Okay, I'm going to save. Okay. I can go to settings. Yeah, once it decides to load up here. Going back to the whole AOL discussion. Dial up. Hmm. And I'm just going to put uh, crown kayak opt-in. Form. So the choose the list, we're going to choose the list that uh, was created. So you'll probably just have the one list that we created in the beginning. So crown kayak, uh, confirmed opt-in. Uh, we're going to leave that. Choose a thank you page. So I can do default and stay on page. Yeah, I'll go default. That's if you have an already subscribed URL. Um, if someone tries to opt in and they already have a subscription or they already opted in. Uh, don't track with custom field. Okay, save and we'll make some changes. We'll just do a general, um, a general thing right now. I just wanted to show you this. Oh, I have to unlock. Just wanted to show you this, the button. So you can go there and change the color of the button. Okay, to whatever you want. I usually like red for the button, just because it pops out. 
And then don't put in come on now today. <laughs> don't put that as your as your button. And then this is a thank you page once they opt in. So oh, unlock this bad boy. So I'm going to hit this. I'm just going to do a border again just to show you how to do it again. Nope. Oh, sorry. Border. Uh, color. Black. Okay. Okay. And. It's basically the same thing, guys and gals. You can just you know, put in the color of what you want for your border. Uh, so your background. There we go. All right. OK, you can change the color of your fonts. Do, um, well, so six Fs is white, if you didn't know, for hex color. And I'm just going to leave that the way it is. All right, that's just to um, show you as an example. I'm going to save. All right, and we're going to publish. All right, for the, uh, for the sake of this training, we are going to use this right here, the JavaScript code. And I want you to copy. And I want you to go to your WordPress admin login. And I actually wanted to put this in Crown Kayak. Um, sorry, guys and gals. Admin. The Media Helper uh, dashboard. Okay, log into the correct dashboard. That would be helpful. All right, guys and gals, go to uh, posts, all posts. All right, we'll open up the default that was already there. Just hit edit at this hello world. That should have been created when you created your uh, WordPress site. All right, so go back over to, oh, I'm gonna close this. Go back over to here. And if you haven't already, copy. And, oop. And make sure, here's the visual editor. Here's your uh, text editor. Make sure you're in text editor. Here, I'll show you if it, what happens if you're not. So if you control V on here, uh, it's not gonna show anything. You get all this craziness. So make sure you're in your text editor. And then control V from what you copied. I'm just gonna update. And then I'm gonna show you Okay, and so I'm going to open in a new link. Okay, and then your opt-in form is loading, and there's your opt-in form. So I'm going to put uh, my junk email in here. Um, put in Christopher. Yeah, I put in my full name, and. And now today, and it's going to take me to this uh, thank you page. And you don't necessarily have to have this thank you page. Well, we'll play around with that in just a minute. Um, different formatting, different options. So I am going to go to this. All right, I'm going to go back to lists. All right, I'm going to go to Crown Kayak, and there's my opt-in, guys, and Gales. So if you want to hit uh, Crown Kayak, okay, and there's the person who opt in. Of course, it was myself, but uh, hey, it's a start, right? So that's how uh, you, you do your opt-in form. I want you to go um, and play around with that. So we're going to do some different shades. So if you want to get back to the opt-in form, just hit your menu, 
forms and surveys. Feel free to, to pause this video and just play around with it and get a style that you really like. Um, you can also do it here. Let me show you this. So go to appearance, go to widgets. So you can see for this uh, particular um, theme, it's just got footer widgets. When we install a different theme, uh, which we're going to do in another training video or two, um, there'll be side widgets. But just for this example, uh, just grab this here, this custom HTML, and just throw it in um, footer widget. You don't necessarily have to have a title. And then let's go to here and we'll hit copy again and i'm just gonna control v i'm gonna save okay and we can come back over here i'm just gonna refresh and once we refresh we'll just scroll down and so there's the opt-in form in the widget so once we have widgets over here you can put the opt-in form in the side widget and it will show up on every page. Okay, so let's go back over to get response and let me show you something else. Uh, so if you go to list again, okay, there is, uh, there's my opt-in right there. That's me. And it just shows you that uh, it does work. So let me show you again. If you go to list, Crown Kayak opt-in one. So as more people opt-in, um, you'll see them show up there. Okay, uh, I wanted to show you something else. So this is just kind of a, a to know. So if you go here and you go here and you just want to get your code real quick, quick uh, copy form, copy. Okay, so now once they're opted in, you want to start your email processing starting to send them uh, emails. And so we're gonna create some of those emails and I want to go to autoresponders. And you're not gonna have anything in there right now. I don't think they put in like a, a practice one or a default one or anything. So these are my uh, good doggy, my good doggy um, autoresponders. So as you can see, there's uh, cycle days. So, Zero just means that as soon as you opt in, you get that email. And then um, it might be on the next page here. Yeah, that's day one. So that would be tomorrow. And that would be the second day. You get uh, an email third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. I go as far as seven days. Uh, just to know they're out there. I do fun stuff. I don't push anything. I don't try to sell anything. I just have them as fun emails. I'll show you, uh, just like, for example, this one. Um, save and publish. I'll just edit message. Uh, next step. And we're, we're going to create these as well. I just wanted to give you an idea. So basically what I'm trying to explain, meaning I don't push any, I don't try to give them any offers or try to sell anything, is you do need them to warm up to. Um, obviously, we're, we're all human beings. If they're going to buy from you, they want to be um, familiar with you. They want to be comfortable with buying from you. Uh, this was just a, uh, for my good doggies website, uh, just movies that um, spotlighted dogs. I just sent that out. And actually, on this particular one, actually, I did put... Um, uh, Amazon.com link. So I fibbed to you, <laughs> but I don't normally do that. It's just because I was talking about that. And if they wanted to buy the film, I might as well put in affiliate links to do that. So this is just this fun email just to send them. They can read in the morning with their coffee, just showing different movies with, um, actually, I want to put this over here just because to separate, I didn't notice that wasn't there. Um, just fun stuff. So send some fun stuff out, uh, be, it, be it personable. We're going to do some examples in this training. And I just wanted to give you an example of how that's done. Okay. So we'll just, uh, I'm just going to save. All right, guys, if you just want to bring up a, another tab and, um, guys and gals, 
Uh, I'm just going to put in www. Well, you don't have to put the www in anymore. I'm so I grew up with that, so it's it's still ingrained in me. Uh, you don't need to do www dot anymore. Uh, my good doggies dot com. All right, so this is one of my websites that's sitting out there in limbo. I haven't done much with it. Uh, it's an e-commerce site for uh, dog supplies, and it needs uh, needs work. It's a, a drop shipping website. I will get into drop shipping in future videos, but I just wanted to show you uh, something here. Now, normally, um, if you're on here for a long time, there will be a newsletter opt-in that pops up. Um, I was just on here this morning, so maybe it's not going to pop up. But if you just um, link to it, then uh, it will pop up for you probably. And the only reason I'm showing, there it is. The only reason I'm showing you this is um, if you want to opt-in for your email address, this is just for example purposes. So you'll get my, um, my newsletters for the next few days. So you'll just uh, see what they're about. And um, there's not really anything I'm selling on there or anything. It's just for an example for you folks. Uh, and then I want to go back to, so we'll kill this. Uh, I'm going to kill some of these windows. And then I want to go back to uh, get response. And I wish my, um, my computer was doing some get response here. Uh, all right, here we go. So let's go back to forms and surveys. Let's go back into the form that we were we, we were creating. And I made some changes while I wasn't filming. There's our little monster. He's so cute, that little monster. That little monster, yo. All right, so I made some changes. Uh, I'll show you. Just wanted to show you some other stuff. Um, so right here. This is for someone's on a desktop or a laptop. That's the view. That's what they would see. Um, so we'll go to, that's on their phone. So that doesn't look all that great. So you want to you wanna format it so it looks good on the phone and on the website as well. So we'll do this. We'll do this. And it's just trial and error. So check your smart device. See how it comes up. And you're just going to have to play around with it and get to your desired um, settings. Okay. And go into settings again. I just want to show you real quick. This is where I left it at. So just put in uh, the name, choose the list, opt in. You can have that off. You're either stay on page, stay on page. Okay, just leave that. I'll leave this for a couple seconds just so you see. So that's the settings that uh, I want you to keep for now. Go back over here, I'm gonna refresh. Well, I don't really need to. There's the new one that I uh, played around with. Redesign a little bit. And so if you just put in, I'm gonna put test three, test. Um, and I'm gonna put the uh, direction. Okay. And there's a little check mark. It will show that that went out. And for the people that are opting in, all right, so that's that. So for next time, I do have some homework for you, lovies, and I'm going to show you what that is, okay? I want you to do this because we're going to go over um, um, as soon as I get it up here. We're going to go into autoresponders next time. Jeez, this computer's slow today for some reason. It's driving me nuts up. Okay, so I started my first autoresponder. I want you guys to do these. It says thanks for signing in, signing up. Welcome to Crown Kayak. Within the next couple of weeks, you'll receive a few emails that will introduce you to what we have to offer, as well as links to articles, videos, and other kayak goodness. We're here to help inform, educate, and entertain. And then a short background. This past summer, 2020, I was starting to form what I affectionately call COVID gut, <laughs> which is true. Due to restrictions in New York, there was a limited number of places you could go to exercise. Did I indicate, did I indicate limited? Uh, what about the great outdoors? And then I can continue. Okay, so let me bring over um, the lesson sheet. Oop, that's an old lesson sheet. Oh, no, this is it. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. So um, your homework assignment, I want you to make seven 
emails because we're going to use them next video. Seven different emails. So I'll use whatever you need. I use uh, Microsoft Word. All right, so these are what I want you to do. I want you to do an introduction email like I just showed you that I just started. I have to finish that myself. Just an introduction of who you are. Welcome, hello, how are you? You know, just we'll have them warm up to you. Second video, I want you to do a fun video email. I want you to go out to YouTube. I want you to get two, three videos of what deals with your subject matter. There are other people's videos. That's perfectly fine. You're helping them out by generating traffic for them. Um, if you have your own videos, perfecto. If you want to go out and film your own videos, you know what you're doing as far as that's concerned. That's awesome. But uh, don't be afraid to use other people's YouTube videos. You're helping them out as well as yourself. Third email links to your subject matter. I want you to go out to Google, look for uh, three or four links for your subject matter, three or four articles that are good and relevant. Make sure they're good, guys, because <laughs> you want to, you know, you want to have your audience stick around. So you want to give them good content. And again, there are other people's articles. That's perfectly fine. You're helping them with traffic as well as helping yourself. I want you to do a personal story. So basically, for my case, okay, uh, my site is kayaking. I can go write a personal story about kayaking, a day I went kayaking. Um, just make it personable, and you're going to send that out to them. Questions and answers. Did you know or can you name? Make it kind of fun. Just a questionnaire, some facts, just to, to show them, make it a fun game, do some questions and answers, see if they can guess them. Uh, just facts on that one top five or ten of something so like i showed you on my uh my good doggies website i listed a bunch of films uh, that involved dogs in them that had dogs in them and uh, put that in an email and sent it out so something to that st same caliber just uh, five or ten of something that revolves around your subject matter and then i want you to think of a uh, subject for your seventh video and write that up and bring those all next time and if you feel inspired just keep, keep going. All right, as many emails as you can make, perfecto. All right, I want you to bring those back next video and we're going to utilize those. I'm gonna make sure I do all stuff in my email, so I'm gonna do my homework as well. And with each email, I want you to have at least one image for each, okay? So um, they need to be commercial and other licenses. You can't just go out and steal other people's images, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just um, Let's get out of this, get out of this. Just bring up another tab. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to put uh, kayak. As soon as it wants to fill in. I don't know, this computer today, guys. It's just been driving me crazy. I think it just needs a reboot. Kayaks, kayak, whatever. Okay, we'll just hit enter. All right, and we'll go to images. And 10 or 15 weeks later, we should, uh, it should uh, load. There we go. So we want to go to, let me think here, settings, nope, tools. All right, and we'll bring, bring down more tools. You want to go to usage rights, commercial and other licenses. All right, so there you go. So I'll pick some images and you see how there's like iStock here, iStock here. So you'd have to pay for those images. Um, some, some don't have um, watermarks on them, but there's other sites you can go to. So I wanted to show you those real quick. So we'll go to Unsplash, unsplash.com. And we'll put that in here and beautiful free images and pictures. If you can see it right here while it's loading. And I'm going to throw this computer out the window in a minute. It's just slow today. Um, as a public service announcement, I would not recommend throwing your computer out the window. I think that would, um, not make the warranty work. Here we come. All right, so we can, uh, yeah, that would void out your warranty. No throwing the computer out the window. You learn a lot here at mymediahelper.com. All right, put kayak, we'll go here. Kayak a J. <laughs> Try kayak this time. 
<laughs> okay. All right. So there you go. There's some beautiful images I can I can use utilize for my um, for the emails I'm going to send out. And there's going to be one more site you can check out. It's going to be pixabay.com. And let's go back. If it will allow me to. And this computer needs a serious reboot. <laughs> All right, that's uh, loading right now. And basically, it's just uh, free images that you can use. So I will just put in kayak. If fat fingers would work, that would be awesome. All right, there you go. All right, beautiful, lovely pictures you can use for your articles. All right, guys and gals, make sure you do your homework, okay? Because uh, next time we're going to get into it. Uh, we're going to do uh, autoresponders. We're going to do newsletters. We're going to get into that next time. I appreciate you very much, as always. If you could like, subscribe, or share the video below, I appreciate it. And I'll see you in lesson seven, and we'll have some more fun together, okay, guys? All right. Take care. Bye.